still looking for a job. And it was a celebration on Broadway last night. Ken has today's sports report. Ellis shovels one that went wide. Tucked around. Wow, this was amazing. So Frederick Gaudreau's wraparound shot was initially called a save, but then reversed and called a goal. That goal would prove to be the game winner. Tough break for Penn's goalie, Matt Murray. Preds win this game. They win game four by a score of four to one. Team captain Mike Fisher, a.k.a. Mr. Carey Underwood, is feeling really <laughs> good about his team. So really, it's the way we play as a team. And whoever's in there, if we play a certain way, we, we know we can be successful. And... Um, we got to continue to get better in this series because we know it's not getting any easier. There's no question. And we're going to have to, as a center group, be even better because we know who we're facing. And, um, and we're, you know, we're going to keep, keep doing that. And that's our focus. You better stay focused. The series ships back to Pittsburgh for the pivotal game five on Thursday. One, two pitch. And Shane Knighton yeah. knew it was gone. Oh my goodness! Run, run An absolute Sooners. classic marathon of epic proportions. Game one of the women's college world series goes 17 innings before Shea Knighton drives that pitch deep into the night, giving the defending champion Oklahoma Sooners a game one victory. I just saw a pitch that I can hit. Um, it was in the zone, and I knew she was going to attack the zone, so I was just like, just swing. No, nothing bad can happen if you just swing. If you strike out, oh well, there's more game left, and I just wanted to do it for my team. Okay, so that game was more than five hours long. Oh the four God. pitchers that were used that threw a total of 496 pitches. Game two is tonight, and the Sooners can clinch with a victory. Okay, so this brings me to this. Ladies played five-plus hours. Let's go back to Saturday, all right? <laughs> because I'm watching the soccer match, because I watch it all the time now, with the Sac Republic. They were hosting the Rio Grande Valley Toros, who came from Texas. So after 93 minutes, this ends in a 0-0 draw, and the teams get a point for that. So what? the whole thing got me thinking. So let me get this straight, all right? So the women's softball game can't end until somebody gains the advantage, no matter how long it takes. And soccer ends a match after 93 minutes? That team took a bus or an airplane out here from Texas to basically waste a day in Sacramento? Soccer is one of the most popular sports in the world. And I'm not going to lie, I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> What's the redeeming value? What's the redeeming value in a game that has no winner? Okay. I suspect this is the main reason why soccer will never be as popular here in the States oh. as baseball. Oof. I would love for any passionate soccer fan to explain to me explain. how I'm supposed to get excited about a sport that has no conclusion. I'll give you some time. <laughs> That's my take. Uh, can I ask? Let's get back comment. to the sports Woo! report. I just comment on that for one second? Yes, you may. I will tell you this. <laughs> That was a regular conference game, so they're, it, they can end in a tie. But if it was, you know, playoffs. a playoff yeah. of some sort, then they go to PKs. No baseball game ever ends in a tie. They don't leave until somebody wins. Mm. Nope. No. Just say it. I like that there isn't a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> but you, that's all right. You don't have to like it. I don't. We'll get back to it. <laughs> Let's get back to the sports report. In the NFL, things just went from promising to problematic for former Niners quarterback Colin Kaepernick. The Seattle Seahawks were close to signing him as a backup. But Seahawks coach Pete Carroll says no. They're going to pass on that because he says Cap is a starting quarterback. And he thinks someone will give him a shot to do just that. But the clock is ticking. That's a wrap on your sports report. Yeah, we'll talk after the break. Good day continues right after this.